Hi everyone, I'm Daniel and I'm here to talk about The Guardian, our first managed PoE switch to support VM applications. So what supporting VM applications allows us to do is to virtualize a wide variety of network appliances. So that instead of buying uh, many appliances, you buy one Guardian and virtualize the rest. So of course there is cost savings here, but besides cost savings, there's a lot of convenience because now changing your network appliances is as simple as just loading up a new VM. And this could be done in under a minute because we have simplified the process of, um, of, of loading VMs. I'll get into that later. And so now you can customize uh, your appliance by just changing the settings on your VMs, change your appliances in under a minute. So this is very convenient, time savings, uh, gives you a lot of flexibility and it's affordable. So before we go much further, I want to talk about how we got here. So originally, um, there were just the first generation of PoE switches uh, were, were, were simple. I mean, they worked fine, but they were simple. Um, you plugged a, a device into the switch and you got power and you got network connectivity. And that was about it. But then in the second generation, there were managed uh, switches. And these switches had an operating system that you could log into. And because you could log into the operating system, you could change the settings. So you could set up things like VLANs, isolated networks, you could combine ports with link aggregation. Uh, because you could log into it, you had a lot more flexibility in what you could do with this switch. Well, now in the third generation of uh, PoE switches, uh, this is still a managed switch, but it has a general purpose, uh, a Celeron CPU, and that means it's capable of running virtual machines. It also, by the way, can run full QTS. It can do what a NAS can do, but it can run virtual machines. And that means this is no longer just your switch. This could be your router. This could be your firewall. This could be your SD-WAN site-to-site -site VPN with uh, load balancing and failover. So there's a lot, of, lot the switch can be now. It's not just a switch. It can be a wide variety of network devices, very affordable and very easy to use. So let's get into some of the hardware strengths of the Guardian. So uh, first of all, it supports virtualization, so it's not just a switch. It can be many other devices. So it's got a CPU, it's got RAM, it's got whatever you need to, to run virtual appliances, uh, to run VMs. But also as a PoE switch, it stands out because it has a high power budget. It has a power budget of 370 watts, which means it can power a wide variety of reasonably power hungry PoE devices. So a PoE, power over ethernet, can be very convenient for devices like IP cameras. For example, a lot of places you put IP cameras, it may not necessarily be right next to a power plug. And it's not always convenient to run an extension cord to every IP camera. It can be a lot easier, a lot more convenient if the IP camera can be powered by the same ethernet uh, cord you use to give it network connectivity. So there are many other devices that can be powered by ethernet, uh, like a wireless AP station, um, phones, uh, many other devices. And so as a PoE switch, this can power a wide variety of devices that it also gives network connectivity to. But what really makes this stand out among um, over other PoE switches is that it supports virtualization. So it's not just powering devices, it can be the device. As a virtual machine, it can virtualize so many network devices so that it can be so many things at the same time while also being your NAS. So to get more into the PoE functionality, we support the IEEE 802.3BT power supply standard. And that means that these four ports here can support up to 60 watts of power. The remaining 12 ports can support up to 30 watts of power. And with such a high power budget of 370 watts, there should be plenty of power for all your PoE, all your PoE devices, um, but if you're worried, we do support power supply priority configuration. And some of the other things we support are camera device remote restart, PoE scheduling, and remote intelligent monitoring. If you look in the front, uh, there's an LCD display. And if, forever, if you didn't know the IP address and needed it, you could just make it display right here. Uh, now to look at the switch, we've got 16 ports. 
for for the 802.3 BT, and then 12 ports up to 30 watts. And these last ports are combo ports that can be either SFP or base T. There's also a management port. And what a management port is, it's a port that's not part of the switch. And this can be important, because let's say that some newbie who didn't know what they were doing decides to configure this whole switch as an isolated network. If you were to make the switch into an isolated network, you actually would not be able to log into QTS from the switch. Then how would you fix that person's mistake? Well, that's what this port is for. It's not part of the switch. So no matter what you do to your switch, you can still log into QTS through here and then easily fix any mistakes someone makes. And it's actually really easy to fix it. We made an app to make manage, managing the switch very easy. So over here, there's a power supply and a PCIe slot. So the power supply is 418 watts, but QTS needs some power. So the PoE budget is 370 watts. Um, to run the switch, to move that switch traffic, we have a microchip that does that. And then more on the NAS side of things, we have uh, two 2.5 inch bays for SSDs or HDDs, a quad core Celeron and eight gigs of RAM. And so this could run the VMs, this can run QTS, you can virtualize your network appliances here. And so what I wanna mention here is, uh, first when I address a possible objection, people might ask, is a Celeron and eight gigs of RAM enough for virtualization? So what I wanna say right off the bat is we are not trying to virtualize Windows here. We're not trying to do some computing intensive VM. We're trying to virtualize things like a router, um, IP phone box, you know, uh, run things like PFSense. These are not things that need a lot of CPU power. They're not things that need a lot of RAM and they don't take a lot of storage. So even if you chose reasonably small SSDs, it should be more than enough space to hold QTS plus the VM images for the kinds of network appliances we're trying to virtualize. Celeron should be enough, eight gigs of RAM should be enough because we're not trying to do Windows here, we're trying to run network appliances as virtual machines. And that's on the QTS side of things and then the switch traffic is managed by a microchip and they're independent. And then being independent is important because that means that no matter what you do to that Celeron, um, it should not slow down your network traffic. So let's say you did virtualize Windows. I don't recommend it, but even if you did, even if you bogged down that Celeron, it should not slow down your network traffic because your network traffic is moved by an independent chip. This also means that you could shut down your QTS. You could restart QTS for a firmware update without interrupting your network traffic. So as I mentioned, those two 2.5 inch bays should be more than enough for QTS plus the kind of VM images we're trying to virtualize. However, this Guardian can also do what a NAS can do. And if you wanna use it at the same time at, uh, for the more traditional NAS functionality, maybe make it your file server, maybe re record IP cameras, you might want more storage. So it's quite easy uh, to attach an expansion unit through USB. I just wanna add that this uh, four bay expansion is under 200 bucks. So it's very affordable to increase your storage. So let's get into some of the applications. Uh, really the Guardian is very strong in applications. So let's get into that. So the Guardian runs full QTS. And that means a Guardian can do what a QNAP NAS can do. We have our App Center with more than 100 apps. So we can run things like QVR Pro for surveillance, VJBOD, uh, we can do Container Station, Virtualization Station. We can run Hybrid Mount, HBS3. We can do what a NAS can do. And that means that we can run Container Station and Virtualization Station, and that is why we can virtualize network appliances. You can virtualize them as containers or as VMs. And we have integrated virtualization station and container station with our, our network and virtual switch. And with, with, with this PoE switch, they are integrated very well. And that makes this easy and convenient. Now you might ask if the reason we can virtualize our network appliances is because we support virtualization station and container station, then shouldn't almost any QNAP NAS 
plus a, a POE switch be able to do this? Why would you need a guardian to virtualize your network appliances? Shouldn't almost any QNAP NAS be able to? And the answer is actually yes. Uh, most of our NAS could be used to virtualize your network appliances. But um, because we have integrated NAS and switch so well, on a Guardian, it's just a whole lot easier. It's a lot more convenient and simple to set it up on a Guardian. So let's talk about, first of all, if you had a NAS plus to manage POE switch, how would you do this? How would you virtualize your network appliances? Well, first you go on the internet and get the VM image. You would install it on virtualization station. You would configure uh, your virtual switch on your NAS, configure the NIC for the virtual switch. Then you would separately log on to your manage switch, and then you would configure the manage switch separately. And for people who aren't real familiar with manage switches, this might be a, ch a challenge, and some people may not even be that familiar with a QNAP virtual switch. So in a Guardian, we have made this so much easier to do. First of all, a lot of the VMs you want to load up will, will already be in the Guardian, so you don't have to find it, you just click on it. And then you can just click next to install it on the default location. You then select the WAN port and you click apply and you are done. You don't have to configure the virtual switch. The Guardian does it automatically for you. You don't have to separately log into some uh, managed POE switch. The Guardian configures it for you. Just a few clicks and you are done. It is that easy. So what the Guardian has done is integrated switch and NAS for efficiency and ease. So it, is, it makes networking so simple. Replacing your network appliances so easy, changing your appliances under a minute, done. So that is the beauty of the Guardian. So let's demo this. This is our Guardian. Um, it looks a lot like our NAS because it actually is a NAS. It can do what a NAS can do. It has our app center with, with our, our apps that our NAS can run. It can do what a NAS can do. But what's different here is we have our VM installer which integrates virtualization station with our switch so easily, so simply. So you click start, you choose what you want to, what you want to install it. Say I want to virtualize, I want to do PFSense. I just click next and I choose a WAN port. And let's say I want two WAN ports. I just click the plus and choose another WAN port. Click next, click apply, and then I am done. It is that simple. So that is so much easier than you know installing a VM on virtualization station, configuring the virtual switch, then logging onto a managed switch, then configuring the managed switch. We have made networking so easy. So the other thing that's new in the Guardian is we have an app for managing the switch. It's got a very simple uh, user-friendly interface. So you have an overview here, see what's connected, devices and uh, configuration. So let's look at our ports. You can see what's connected, what's up, what's down. You can look at how much power is being used. Right now, we're not using much power in our Guardian. You can set up VLANs and it's, it's very easy to do. Just choose the ports, VLAN ID, very simple. Set up link aggregation, traffic. So, so all this is just very simple, very easy, very easy to see what's going on, very easy to configure. So this is, this is easier to use than probably most managed switches would be. And it makes it so simple to set up your uh, uh, virtual devices because of how well it's integrated with the NAS functionality. So that's it. Um, that is our Guardian. That's what our Guardian can do. So it can very simply, it can very easily replace a wide variety of network appliances. You can very easily change your appliances, modify your appliances in under a minute. It makes net networking simple, easy, and flexible, all while saving you money. So let's just go into some possible use cases you, for this Guardian. So let's say you want to have IP cameras. Um, typically, you would need an NVR you would need a POE switch and you would need a router. Well, the Guardian can be your router switch and NVR. So that saves you money. 
And then because uh, the router also supports what our NAS can support, you could use, say, a VJBag Cloud to also back up your, your recordings to another off-site NAS. You might also want to have an IP phone system. And usually for an IP phone system, you need to buy a PBX box and a PoE switch. But your guardian could be the PBX box and your PoE switch. So some of the places you might want, want to use uh, some of these features are, let's say, a, a restaurant or retail store. Typically in these places, you want surveillance. Um, you might also want uh, wireless AP stations because maybe you want to give free Wi-Fi to your guests. You might need a POS device um, and many more, right? And so the Guardian can power these devices, be some of these devices, just make things easy, simple, and affordable. And a Guardian should be great in an SMB environment because typically in an SMB environment, you need surveillance, you need good connectivity for everyone, so you probably want AP stations. Uh, you might want to uh, power, uh, power your phone, replace uh, phone hardware like PBX boxes, power your printer. Besides that, uh, you might want, for example, a land to land firewall. You might want a site to site VPN with load uh, uh, balancing and failover. So there's so many things this Guardian can be, so many things that this Guardian can do. It can, and it can do it so simply and so affordably. So that is why our Guardian is so exciting. It doesn't just save you money, it saves you time, it gives you so much ease and flexibility. And so that's what our Guardian can do, and it's available now. And I just want to add that we are about to release other versions of the Guardian, some with more power. Uh, if you want to um, run even more appliances at the same time, I think this Guardian is an excellent SMB solution, but the enterprise version will be released soon.